this week's gospel, we hear about two people from completely different walks of life, Jairus' daughter and a woman who had suffered with an issue of blood for most of her life. Both of these people have aspiring amounts of faith that takes them to Jesus for his help. Their quest for healing is itself a courageous act of faith, and yet very different circumstances are represented by the lives of each suffering person here. Jairus is described as a synagogue official, a man of considerable standing in the Jewish community. Everybody knew who he and his family were. They were very important people. Jairus speaks to Jesus publicly on his daughter's behalf, and Jesus immediately drops everything to go and heal her. Whereas this woman who isn't given a name is known by the community for the wrong reasons, she's an outsider. No one will talk to her or associate with her because of this illness. She is thought to be unclean and therefore no one will even really touch her. She has to approach Jesus secretly as to not draw attention to herself. And like Jairus' daughter, she has no one to speak for her. For the woman who touches the very hem of Jesus' cloak, she is healed immediately, whereas Jairus' daughter has to wait a little bit before he can get to her, hold her hand and raise her from the dead. There is no orderly queue in Jesus' eyes. Sometimes we believe that we ought to be first in the queue because our needs seem more of a priority than others, but that just isn't the case with Jesus. He will get to us eventually. We shouldn't lose hope if we are kept waiting a little longer than we had hoped, because he hasn't forgotten us. We haven't been abandoned, we just need to be patient. Although both the young women he touches are considered unclean according to Mosaic law, Jesus touches them anyway, making them clean again. When we reach out to Jesus and are healed, whether that be physically, spiritually, emotionally, we are, de we are delivered of all shame. The woman takes the matter of her healing into her own hands. She is the one to seek Jesus and touch him, whereas everyone before her has been brought to Jesus, or Jesus has been brought to them. No one had approached Jesus on their own before. It is the willful act of drawing near to Jesus that is rewarded in addition to her belief. We are called to act in faith, taking the first step toward Jesus, knowing our lives will be made well again once we have done so. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good Lord, set me to be a strong and mighty pillar for your true church. I pray for all Christians and people of faith around the world who face persecution and discrimination. Help me in each and every day, Lord, to have an open heart for people as fortunate as me and to be thankful for everything I have. Amen. St. John for sure, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.